today we are taking up Bernard Shaw. G.B. Shaw was born in 1856, a noted playwright, critic, and a novelist. He was born in Dublin. He left school at 15 and migrated to London with his mother in 1876. There he undertook a program of reading and became a socialist, joining the Fabian Society in 1884. William Archer helped him find work in journalism. He made his mark reviewing music for the star. In drama for the Saturday Review, Cashel Byron's profession and an unsocial sociali socialist in 1887 are fiction, a form he returned to several times, most noted in the socio-political parable, The Adventure of the Black Girl in Her Search for God in 1932. The quintessence of, of Ibsenism in, 19, uh, in 1891 is as much a manifesto for Shaw's own future work in the theatre as it is an advocacy of Ibsen's genius. Widower's Houses, 1892 made a vigorous attack on slum landlordism. Like Mrs. Warren's profession written in 1893, produced in 1902, and Philanderer that was written in 1893 and produced in 1905. It was considered too strong to pass the censor and confined to private performance. Arms and the Men, written in 1894. Vitili, subverting the conventions of male gallantry, was his first play to be presented publicly. It was followed by Candida in 1897, The Devil's Disciple, 1897, The Men of Destiny, 1897. You Never Can Tell, 1899, and Captain Brass Brown's Conversion. Shaw owned his fame to Harley Granville Barker and J.E. Vedrine at the Royal Court Theatre. They presented John Bull's Other Island a provocative thrust at the Irish question. How he lied to her husband, men and supermen, Major Barbara and Doctor's Dilemma, Caesar and Cleopatra in 1907, maintained his glowing reputation for mischief and iconoclasm. As did Getting Married, The Showing Up of Blanco Posnet, Censured for Blasphemy. Then Fanny's first play, and Rogels and the Lion, and Pygmalion, written in 1913. Shaw contributed four of his most serious plays to the new theatre of the 1920s. Heartbreak House, Back to Matthew Seller, St. John, and The Apple Cart. Of his later plays, the best include Too True to be Good, The Millionaires, and In Good Kings and in Good King Charles Golden Days. 
His social, political, and ethical opinions are aired in lively prefaces to his plays, collected in a single volume in 1934, revised and expanded in 1938 and later 1965, as well as such works as Common Sense About the War, and How to Settle the Irish Question, the Intelligent Woman's Guide to Socialism and Capitalism and Everybody's Political What's What. His voluminous correspondence includes exchanges with Ellen Terry, Mrs. Patrick Campbell and Granville Barker. Michael Holroyd has written the autobiographical uh, author, authorized biography, so 1988, and Shaw's time period has been 1856 to 1950. So he died in 1950. His career came to an end. This is all for today. Thank you.